What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another PS4 modding tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod your trophies, your displayed trophies on your profile. As you can see here, there, I currently have none, but you can modify them to any number that you want. So it's actually a really easy um, mod to do. All you need is the WebKit exploit and a PS4 on firmware version 1.76. So what you want to go ahead and do is get onto the version of the WebKit Playground that has the FTP settings. So you're going to need to set up the uh, WebKit Playground if you haven't already got that set up. Then I'll put a link to it in the top right hand corner of the screen, my tutorial on how to set up the WebKit exploit. And I also recommend, if you haven't got the web browser patch installed, I recommend doing that so that you can access the internet browser without needing to have a PSN. You can bypass it just like that so so if you haven't installed the web browser patch then you can go ahead and of course just use the user guide method to access the webkit playground as shown in my tutorial on accessing uh, the webkit playground and you want to search for a url and search for the version of the webkit playground that has the ftp settings there's two versions that have the ftp settings so there's this one up here so you can you can just type that URL in to get onto this one. There's also, um, if I head to my, if I head to uh, bookmarks here, I've also got uh, this one, which is a shorter link, f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash. So access that. If you can get onto the internet browser, then just use the internet browser to access them. If you can't, then use the user guide in the settings to access them. And then you want to launch FTP down here. And on this version, it's down here, enable FTP. But before you do that, what you want to do actually is go ahead and make sure you have your IP address for your PS4. So head down to network and head to view connection status and you'll have your IP address right there. You can see mine's 192.168.137.34. So keep a note of that IP address in your head because you're gonna need to uh, put that into FileZilla or some FTP client when you want to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it though, but because this is running, I best close this in case uh, uh, we get any out of memory errors. So we'll go ahead and enable the FTP settings here. And now once that's enabled, you can head over to your computer and we can connect on FTP. So once you're on your computer, you want to download an FTP client like FileZilla, which I'll link in the description, and you want to create a new site. So you open the site manager in the top left, create a new site. You can see I've already got PS4 there, but you would just create a new site, call it PS4, enter the IP address and port number in here. And as I'll show you right here, you can see that I already have it entered in here. So 192.168.137.34 was the IP address of my PS4. The port number is going to be 1337 and it's just standard FTP file transfer protocol. Login type, just put anonymous. It does not require a login and then click OK. And then from the drop down list, you can select the PS4 that you created uh, and it will go ahead and connect you to the PS4's hard drive over the network. So once you're on here, what you want to do is head into user, the user folder. And then once you're in there, you want to head into home. And then these folders represent each user account. So first user account will be uh, the top one and then the next one, the next one, the next one. So there'll be different folders for different user accounts. So I'm going to go into the first one right here um, and then select trophy. And in here, you want to head into data and then SCE underscore TROP. And then you want to get this file here, TRP summary dot data. And here's the thing about this um, file. You will not have this file if you haven't played a game. You need to have actually played a game on your PS4 for it to create this file. Otherwise, this file will not be here and you can't modify it unless you maybe download the file from some external site and drag it on here. Then maybe it'll work. But um, you need to play a game first for this to appear. You don't necessarily have to have unlocked a legit trophy in the game. Um, you just need to have played a game for it to create this file in the first place. So now that we've got this file, you want to go ahead and drag that to your desktop. And then we can literally just edit it in Notepad. So if you open up a Notepad document, drag the file in. And there you go, you've got platinum, gold, silver, bronze trophies. So if I change them to something like 
1337, go 1337, 1337, 1337, and 1337. So platinum, gold, silver, bronze, they're all 1337 now, so I can go file, save, and then just drag this back on and overwrite. And that's it, we've modified the trophies, it's as simple as that, so I'll just go back onto the console and show you that uh, show you that that's changed okay so back onto the console now so if I have a look here you'll see that it has changed there we go I thought we might have had to sign out and sign back in but apparently not there we go you can see it's changed each one's changed to 1337 total 5348 so that is how you do it is this really useful is this really amazing not not really I mean you can't get online on 1.76 so nobody's gonna see it anyway but what the hell, it's it's another thing you could do with the PS4 or something I wanted to share. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did or found the information useful, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. And uh, check out the playlist. I'll put a playlist link in the description to the other PS4 videos I've made so far. Um, quite a lot of stuff like installing Linux, the WebKit exploit, the browser patch, all that stuff. Um, OS OMSK got of videos on all that stuff so go ahead and check it out in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Shuffling